The high school football season is flying by. That means it's time for another fifth down, and this time we're kicking things off with the Alpena Wildcats hosting Escanaba. It was the Wildcats pink out game versus the Eskimos. Players wore pink to recognize breast cancer awareness and all proceeds benefited Friends Together of Alpena. In the first quarter, Eskimos drive downfield. Ben Johnson hands it off to Noah Gange, who pushes himself through the defenders and into the end zone. The extra point is good and the Eskimos go up 7-0. Still the first, Escanaba in good scoring position it. again. Johnson hands it off to his guy Gagna and, and he finds the end zone for a second score of the night. But here come the Wildcats. Cats, Jacob Zan with a nice pass to John Kurowski, but he gets denied and there's a flag on the play. The refs ruled interference and Alpina gets another chance. Here's their shot, Zan with the handoff to Caleb Donikowski and he barrels in for the touchdown. The kick is good and the Wildcats trail 15 to seven. Into the second quarter, Zan gets the snap and takes his time finding Kurowski and watch the catch by him on that one. Talk about a momentum builder for Alpina. On to the next play, Zan hands off to Donikowski and he makes that one look easy. The extra two are added and the Wildcats tie the game at 15. But the Eskimos respond quickly. High snap goes to Johnson and he decides to bring it in himself for the score. Escanaba goes up 21 to 15. And the Eskimos drive again. Johnson with the pass, but watch the hands on Easton Trebnik here. It's an interception and he takes it the other way until he's finally brought down. The ball goes back to Alpina. In a few seconds to go until half, Zan with the deep launch to Shrebnik and what a catch by number 33. The Wildcats go into the half trailing 21 to 18. A late push by Escanaba made the final score 28 to 25 over Alpina. Our next game for you comes from Alcona as the Tigers hosted the Hurons in our featured game of the week. Jeremiah Bullis jumps in front of a Charles Allen pass and intercepts it. Off the turnover, up the middle goes Colin Walker for a Tigers touchdown. They go up 8 to 0. Next Roger City possession, the ball is fumbled by Charles Allen. It goes backwards and the Tigers fall on it, gaining possession of that one. On fourth down, Garrett Summers rolls to his right, easy pitch and catch to Bullis for the touchdown. And off the Roger City punt. Summers gathers it, turns up field, and gets to the sideline. He uses some speed to get to the outside, just has the punter to beat, and he does it. High stepping his way into the end zone for a punt return score. And near the end of the half, Summers takes a shot downfield for Bullis, and he's got it for a long touchdown catch. The Tigers keep it rolling with a victory over the Hurons, 66 to 0. Our next matchup is between the undefeated Posen Vikings hosting the Atlanta Huskies. In the first, Jack Rommel gets the snap and hands off to Ethan Rommel. He avoids the pressure to get in the end zone for the score. Posen leads 8-0 early. The Vikings lead 14-0 now. Jace Cheedy fakes the handoff and he sneaks around the defenders to get in for the touchdown. Atlanta trails 14-8. Atlanta kicks to get it started and Logan Tim picks the ball up. He jukes out some defenders and sheds off some tackles here. One more attempt by the Huskies to bring him down, but Tim breaks free and he's off to the races. He brings this one all the way to the house for a touchdown off the return. Posen leads 22 to 8. Into the second, Posen leads 38 to 8. Roma with a nice pass to Colton Paul here and he breaks away from the attempted tackle to bring it in for the score. The Vikings never let up in this one. Posen defeats Atlanta by a final score of 62 to 16. Our final game comes from Oscoda. The Owls welcomed in Boyne City in their showdown. In the first, Drew Near gets the snap and avoids the Owls pressure. He scrambles with a toss to Owen Hewitt and he breaks into the end zone for a score. The Ramblers go up 14 to 0. And now it's Oscoda's turn. Michael Miles gets the snap and he goes for the deep pass, but there's a Rambler there and he grabs the interception off the Owls. Oscoda would go on to take the 28 to 0 loss to Boyne City.